people Eddie here from job progress and i'm excited to talk to you about two new awesome updates that we had just released one of them being multi-company the other being divisions so if i was explain these for a second you would use the multi-company feature if you had multiple different companies separate workflows separate accounts separate quickbook integrations you now have the ability in job progress to access all of these accounts from one single user login so if you're one of those entrepreneurs out there with a roofing company, a remodeling company, general contractor, plumber, whatever it may be, and you wanted to access and manage all of them from one login, you now have the ability to do so with Job Progress. Your divisions function a little bit differently. Divisions are going to add another level of management and protection inside of your account by allowing you to have division managers broken down, whether we're talking about locations, maybe you've got a New York City, a Boston, and a Williamsburg, Virginia location. Perhaps you're doing it by residential and commercial, and you have separate users that are based inside of each division. Well, the divisions now allow you to basically go ahead and have separate macros, have your separate addresses, your separate users, all confined to their own locations based off of what division they're associated or they're placed in. Let's go ahead and take a look at how that works. So first, the minute you log into Job Progress when you have multi-company activated, as that's what I'm going to be discussing first, you are prompted to select which account you want to log into. So I'll go ahead and choose Double Deconstruction here. And from that point forward, your Job Progress account functions as it would if it were a standalone. So everything inside of this Double D account is separate. Their integration they may have, the workflow, the users, Currently, they are all separate as it stands with this one multi-company account. At the click of a button, and this is on both the web and the mobile devices, but at the click of a button, I can hit my down-facing arrow in the top right corner, hit my down-facing arrow next to where it says Double D, and now I could switch into my demo account. So just like that, if I was a roofer who also owned a home remodeling business or whatever it may be, I could switch between the two, keep everything completely separate, and still manage what I need to manage with one login at one click of a button. Now, the way it works is that when you're ready to add a user to one of your new accounts that you have linked, at the time of going into users and clicking that add new user button, you would enter in your email address. It's either going to invite if there is another company that your email address is associated with, or it's going to add new if there was no company that you were associated with, in which case you then continue through with the process of adding the phone number, attaching the address to it, as well as what the position is that they may have. From there, you have the ability to then go into your actions to edit it further, maybe break it down into specific user tags, assigning users with similar roles towards each other, or taking advantage of our divisions. And divisions are awesome. It's a great tool. So in settings right now, if I scroll on down to company divisions, this is where I can manage all those different locations. So let's just say that I had an address with this division that we have here. Oh, that is our email. So I'm going to do one, two, three, Main Street. And this is in Chicago. It's going to auto populate for me. I don't have Chicago listed here. So I'm going to leave that blank for one second. Now that I have this division created, I have the ability to come into my users and I can actually edit what division each particular user belongs to. So if I had a division manager, let's say, perhaps it's broken down by cities or like I mentioned earlier, commercial, residential, however you decide to break down your divisions. Based off of the user permissions and job progress, you can now have someone manage that division with their own users underneath that division you can only see the jobs assigned to them. So for example, user two over here may have access to the entire Chicago division, but user three and four only have access to their jobs underneath the Chicago division. And at the click of a button, I could filter between my separate divisions or multiple if I want to, as well as viewing all. And then once I click into one of my workflow stages, the number of job listings that I have are only gonna to pertain to that selected division. Upon doing my intake, if I were to go up to my add button, add in my prospect or my customer, at the time that I add my job is when I select my division. Now, any user I have that's for this Chicago division is the only users that I will be, that I will be able to pick. What I mean by that is 
I cannot choose an estimator for my Medford division if I'm choosing Chicago. Once I select said division, if I were to click in a job rep estimator, it's only going to show me those that which apply. And the same functions for your macros, the same functions for your sales automation tasks, they're going to trigger only in ones that you have access to. And all that information can be located right inside of that company visions with the information icon. You have a full scope of what's available through the company divisions. I got a lot of my contractors taking advantage of this, especially with their locations. And the cool thing about that is if you belong to a certain division, like let's say that Danielle here belongs to our Chicago division. So if I go ahead and select that, update. The cool thing is that when I go into my financials and I go to create my invoice, I will actually be able to select my address to that division. So maybe we're based out of New Jersey and we have our office locations in Chicago. I would not want my homeowner or business owner getting an invoice claiming to be from New Jersey, right? We want to keep that as personal as possible. So without even having to do anything, it's automatically going to show up at that West Chicago location that I entered previously. This way it appears like we are in that area, even if our main headquarters is located somewhere completely different. This has been a presentation on how multi-company and division works in job progress. As always, if you need more information or if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call, 844-562-7764 at extension number two, or shoot us an email, support at jobprogress.com. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.